What up everybody? Pretty eventful day today. This is Bandit on account of his white little bandit mask on his face. You guys will see it. So I had to take my dog to get neutered today. And literally uh, as I'm walking in in the in the slums of Detroit, this Detroit street cat comes out of nowhere and he's like, meh, meh, help me, save me. I'm gonna die out here. I don't know if I can make it another day. Yeah, he was telling me all sorts of stuff. And you know what? I decided, let's save him, right? And the vet place was so cool. They were like, you know what? Since you're doing that, and he is a Detroit street cat, uh, they will neuter him for me and, you know, do all the shots for free and all that. So I was like, cool, that is awesome. Well, they called me, they texted me after they had him for a while and they told me that this cat has some kind of little feline leukemia and he can't live with other cats because well he's just gonna have to live with it and hopefully they said they can find him a good life and I said why why would you need to find him anything I will take him to a house where there's no other cats and he can be the king of the castle here Honestly, I just think that makes him even more deserving. So I'm in the care field, and I just feel like if I can't save one poor cat from a terrible fate, then, I don't know, my whole career <laughs> and my life is meaningless. So I don't know, just had one of those days today and was like, you know what, no, we're, go we're gonna save Bandit. We're gonna save him no matter what, and we're gonna put him up, and you know what? I think this is going to pay off because Bandit is already the most thankful cat in the world. Like this cat knows he was knocking on death's door and now he's in a warm place. He just wants affection. He wants to be cuddled. Uh, I've never seen a cat just walk up to me outside and actually ask me to save it. Uh, most cats want nothing to do with you. You can try to give them some food and they'll be suspect AF. They might take the food and run, but not this guy. He actually likes people, uh, so finding a cat in this mental state is already rare enough. Uh, and you know the fact that he actually came up to me and asked me to save him, uh, that's all I needed. So this made my day a whole lot better, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, everyone say hi to Bandit. Yeah, he's gonna be a pretty happy boy. We just need to, this is after I washed him, by the way. Like, he was covered in dirt, you know a cat's, you know a cat's dying when their paws are just like covered in mud. In fact, look at his paws; they're still dirty. They're still dirty. I couldn't even get everything off of them. You can see. I mean, he's so happy though; he doesn't care. Another sign is too: uh, the cat was happy and he was acting friendly the whole time. Uh, he couldn't start purring until after I actually gave him food. So after he actually ate, he instantly started purring, probably because his stomach's not killing him from starvation. Um, so yeah, he's been roughing it out there. He's got an upper respiratory infection. All About Animals gave me the, uh, the medicine for his upper respiratory. And as soon as we get that taken care of, he can go back in there for his neuter, his shots, everything. But his tail was a wreck, yo. I mean, there's stuff on this tail I'm probably still going to have to cut off, but Bandit's looking pretty damn good with his little mask, right? And how much you want to bet this cat's perfectly litter trained. Uh, I mean, when I call him, he, he'll walk with me. Here, let's go. Let's go over here. Let's take a stroll through the basement. I mean, this, this Vanda would actually, this is what I consider to be uh, a traveling boost. He is a cat that could actually travel with you if you wanted to. He was really good in the car, sat in my lap the whole time. He would make a good truck driver's cat. Like, this cat could live in a cab. He's well-mannered, he's quiet, right? You call him over and yeah, he's gonna respond and he's gonna do what you tell him to. This is a, one of those cats you could probably teach tricks to. So, very cool, very cool, very smart cat. And he's happy and loyal. He's happy and loyal. So, very cool. Pretty uh, pretty good day. Other than that, the dog made it home fine too. 
Right, I just had to separate this cat because I still have to protect my cats at home, right? So, uh, it is what it is, but we still found a home for him anyway. He's just gonna have to, uh, he's gonna have to be the king of this castle all by himself. So, this little guy made my day. I hope he can make yours too. Later, everybody. And always remember to try to share some love any way you can, right? Peace.